My name is Bianca. I married my beloved husband, Rodolfo, a few years ago. Our marriage is still going strong, but at the behest of my in-laws, we're currently living with them in their family home. I used to work for a certain company, but it was quite far from my in-laws' place. This led me to quit my job and start working from home. Thankfully, my work is going smoothly, but… Oh my, Bianca, are you playing with that strange machine again? If you have time to spare, you should spend more time on household chores. Mother-in-law. This is a laptop. And I'm not playing, I'm working. Oh, really? Work is something you do by dressing up in a suit and going to the office, isn't it? Claiming this as work is like telling a lie that's easily caught. Don't you think it's disrespectful to Rodolfo, to me, and to your father-in-law? Um, that's why I am using this to work from home. Enough. Stop making excuses. Despite my explanations, my mother-in-law just doesn't understand the concept of working from home. On the other hand, Rodolfo and my father-in-law. Wow, it's amazing that Bianca can work from home. Old folks like me can't work unless we go to the office. There might be a transfer in the future, and besides that, she switched to a home-based job because we started living with my parents. I really think I'm lucky to have such a wonderful wife. I'm not that special. My mother-in-law often makes snide remarks, but my husband Rodolfo and father-in-law understand my job. Having both of them around makes this living arrangement bearable. Amidst this, it was decided to build a new house because the in-law's place is old. I thought we could live without problems until we moved. But in daily life, my mother-in-law is still the same. Hey, I told you to clean the bathroom. Um, I'm in a meeting right now, so I can't leave my room. What kind of meeting? Aren't you just playing around? Hey, you people on the screen. You're adults, right? Stop playing with video calls during the day and get some serious work done. Hey, mother-in-law. Please, I'm really in a meeting, so leave the room for now. I'll clean the bathroom later, I promise. After my father-in-law left, I apologized to my colleagues in the meeting. Everyone laughed it off saying, that must be tough. So there were no major issues. Then, one day, we had a visitor at home. Playing on the computer all day must be easy for a full-time housewife, right? Della, this is me working from home, not playing. Home-based work is for, like, really exceptional people, right? It's something only a very few special people can do, isn't it? Then there's no way Bianca could do something like that. That's not true. I think anyone who can use a computer can do it nowadays. No way. You don't have to pretend to be more than you are. She is Della, Rodolfo's younger sister. Della, younger than Rodolfo, lives and works in the neighboring town. However, she, like my mother-in-law, didn't understand the concept of working from home. Despite Rodolfo and my father-in-law's admonishments, her attitude didn't change. Then, one day, some time later. Huh? Della, why are you in my room, and what is that? Why is my computer like this? It's broken. Oh, I borrowed it to play a game, but it didn't work. I don't recall lending it to you. I mean, it asked for a password, and I couldn't use it. That doesn't mean you break it like this. You know how you hit old DVs when the screen flickers, right? I remembered mom doing that, so I hit it, but then it broke. Of course hitting it will break it. And that's for CRT TVs. My laptop is obviously LCD. You don't hit these. Stop making noise in the middle of the day. Passwords and all. If you set those, it means you have something to hide, right? No, it's for work. I have important data and documents. You must be having an affair. You have that look about you. Exactly. So what Della did isn't wrong at all. If you keep playing around like this, just leave the house. I reached my limit of patience and discussed the day's events with Rodolfo and my father-in-law when they returned home. Knowing that my mother-in-law and Della were planning a trip, we came up with a plan. Several weeks later, as planned, when they returned from their trip, they came to the new house in a panic. What's going on? Our house is empty. It's terrible to just take things from our house like that. Huh? I only moved the furniture I bought to this new house since we're moving here. Besides, it was you, mother-in-law, who told me to leave. How dare you speak like that? And where's Rodolfo? It was supposed to be just Bianca leaving our house. 
And why are you moving into the new house too? If we're living together, there's no problem. Wait, brother. What are you saying? Who bought the furniture is irrelevant. You can just take everything from that house to this new one, which is mine. I haven't even started preparing to move. But this new house isn't your house, mother-in-law. It's in my name. What nonsense are you talking about? Yeah. How does a house built by dad become yours? The ones who don't understand are you, mom, and Della. Bianca earns more than me. What? This house was built with our money, mostly contributed by Bianca, so it's in her name. There's no way she earns more than you. She was always just playing on the computer. Exactly. She was just pretending to work from home. No, I really was working from home and now I have some big projects. And the money for mom's living expenses was coming from Bianca's income. The reason we could replace old furniture with new ones is because Bianca paid for it. Both my mother-in-law and Della were shocked to hear Rodolfo's explanation. In fact, I was utilizing the skills from my previous office job for home-based design work. Thanks to that, my workload gradually increased, and I started receiving larger projects. I had mentioned this to my mother-in-law several times, but she never believed me. So what am I supposed to do for living now? Exactly. Every time I came to visit, I used to enjoy meals and snacks. Ah. So it was Della who kept taking the snacks I hid. You were hiding them. Because, Rodolfo, you eat them as soon as you find them. Worry about my future, not the snacks. The house you're returning to is no longer there. Get the rest of your things out quickly. Father, what do you mean? That's our house, isn't it? Yeah. That's our cherished family home where my brother and I grew up. I told you about building the new house and who paid for it. Despite that, you didn't listen and were rude to Bianca. Rude? I haven't done anything of the sort. Right. Bianca was just playing, wasn't she? Enough! As I said earlier, the old house is being demolished, and it's already decided. Also, I'm divorcing your mother, and I'm disowning you, Della. Divorce? Wait a minute. You can't be serious about divorcing at this age. Do you think I joke about something like that? We'll apologize, Mom and I. We were wrong. Please don't cut ties with us. I'll apologize to Bianca, too. Yes, if we lose our family home, it'll trouble Della too. We're sorry. We'll have nowhere to eat. It'll cost us for food, and that's a problem. So please, Dad, even if Bianca plays around, I won't say anything. My mother-in-law and Della made apologies that sounded more like whining. It's too late for apologies now. You can't expect us to just accept them and move on. Mom, Della, even after Dad and I warned you, you continued to do various things to my dear Bianca behind our backs. Unbelievable. What's so fun about tormenting your own family, you fools? I was just teaching Bianca as a mother-in-law should. Bianca must have exaggerated everything. What a troublesome person. But I need mom and dad support. Without it, I don't have any money. And without our family home, how will I eat? I can't cook at all, and buying food costs money. That's why the allowance you were getting every month was also thanks to Bianca. It was Bianca's contribution to the household expenses that gave us some financial leeway. That's why we could give you part of it for your living expenses. Bianca always put on a smile and endured, but I've reached my limit. How can you not cherish someone who's been kind to you? Exactly. When Della came over for meals, Bianca would finish work early and rush to buy ingredients for dishes Della likes. And when you were tired, Bianca prepared ready-to-eat meals for you, right? I thought Mom made those for me. No, Bianca did. Mom just handed them to you when you were leaving, right, Mom? Well, yes, something like that might have happened. You didn't tell her you made those, did you? My mother-in-law had been doing various things behind the scenes. I've heard about mother-in-law and daughter-in-law issues, but this was beyond belief. I was more astonished than angry when... Ah, then from now on? I'll thank Bianca properly and take the food home. That's okay, right? I'm not making it anymore. Why not? If you want to eat, work and live within the means of your salary. I don't really think about savings. Don't you save the money from the monthly support and what you save on meals at home? Right. You don't spend that kind of money, do you? Eh? Normally, people buy clothes or something with the extra money. No, they don't. Della, don't tell me. You're spending your entire salary and the money you get from home? All of it? Huh, surely not. I do spend it all. 
Why don't you save? It's normal to save, right? Why do you spend like that? Eh, I saw on TV. If people have money but don't spend it, the economy won't circulate and Japan will become poor something. Della is thinking about the world and spending her money. That's commendable. That thinking isn't wrong, but not saving at all is counterproductive. The economy won't be affected by Della spending a few 10,000 yen. If you were spending millions each month, maybe it would have a bit of an impact. Hey, it's Della's way of contributing to society. You should praise her for that. I thought I was being strict enough. Mother-in-law, have you always been like this? Oh, every parent loves their child. That's normal, right? It became clear to Rodolfo, my father-in-law, and me that my mother-in-law was the root of all the problems. However, Della, who remained spoiled even as an adult, was equally to blame. Della is still spoiled because mom has always coddled her, even now that she's an adult. Della got a job right before the world turned into what it is now, right? Rodolfo and father-in-law were really worried at that time. That's right. Many people had their job offers cancelled then. But you decided to keep working despite it being tough living alone. So when you asked for financial support, we agreed. Why did you become so dependent? That's completely different from what we discussed back then. But well, it's too late now. What do you mean by that? Exactly as I said. This house is for Rodolfo, father-in-law, and me to live in. From now on, father-in-law will divorce, and Della will be disowned. That's the reality. Well, it's karma, right, father-in-law? Rodolfo? Exactly. People who disrupt others' efforts shouldn't expect only good things to happen. Right. This is the result of always relying on others and not trying to be independent. Now that I think about it, Della being spoiled and mother-in-law giving her extra money. Well, having money is better, right? Mom, how can you make Della into such a useless person? So it's mom's fault I ended up like this. Della, you're equally guilty for being so spoiled. If you had any independence, you'd refuse the extra money. If you can get something, you should take it, right? Think about your age. You're an adult and still taking pocket money from parents. Bianca has been sending money to her parents since she started working. Parents usually save up the money we send back to them. Mother-in-law and Della. Everything you've done so far has borne no fruit at all. Della struggled to become independent and stabilize her life. This was due to my mother-in-law's excessive indulgence and Della's own naive mindset. The overindulgent mother-in-law and the financially dependent sister-in-law no longer needed to be part of the family, having firmly made up our minds. So please, it's time for you to leave. Oh, and by the way, I'll be billing you for the full cost of the laptop and other peripherals you broke. What? Why? The laptop and... There were other devices too? Right. Who broke them again? I just thought if I gave it a shock, it might start working. Who was it? It was me, but... You're equally guilty for just watching and not stopping her, mother-in-law. Unbelievable. Damaging such important work equipment. This happens because you never listen properly to what people say. Please forgive me. I'll pay for the damages and won't disturb Bianca's work anymore. Me too. Next time I want to borrow the computer, I'll ask first. Oh, we won't be living together anymore, so no interruptions is a relief. This will help Della become independent. It's a good thing. This is a good opportunity for you too, Mom, to stop spoiling Della and rethink things. Thus, my mother-in-law and Della were kicked out of the house. My mother-in-law, having lost her home, stayed temporarily in Della's small apartment. However, the two adults didn't have enough money for living expenses and had to borrow money. Della, prioritizing fashion, had chosen an expensive apartment. Eventually, unable to afford the rent, they faced eviction due to arrears. Della's company, undergoing downsizing, laid off employees. Della, having not worked diligently and lacking notable achievements, lost her job. Now unemployed and homeless, they found a live-in part-time job. The job offered little time off, low pay, and a tiny six tatami room for both to live in. With rent deducted from their wages, they couldn't afford much and led a miserable life. As for us, time to start preparing dinner. Oh, father-in-law, what are you doing? Hey, Bianca. I thought you might be busy, so I decided to cook today using this cook pad site. Wow, 
Thank you, father-in-law. It looks delicious. I'm home. Wow, what's that great smell? Welcome back, Rodolfo. Look, father-in-law cooked for us. What? Dad cooked? It looks really good. All right. Now that everyone's here, let's eat. Recently, my father-in-law developed an interest in cooking and would prepare meals when he had the time. At first, I felt bad, but seeing him enjoy it, I let him take over when he could. Rodolfo continued to help more than ever with household chores like folding laundry. Honestly, even working from home, I don't have time for housework during work hours. Without my mother-in-law's demands, I could focus much more on my work. But I know this isn't something to take for granted. Without relying too much on Rodolfo and father-in-law's kindness, I try to do what I can. Always grateful to them, I continue to live happily each day. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.